now on Coast TV News. A public hearing for a proposed motel. How parking concerns for the project were addressed. Less Christmas trees making people less jolly. The national droughts that's impacting Christmas trees here in Sussex County. The sense sounds of Rehoboth Beach's hometown Christmas parade and extra special calls for celebration this year. The future of outdoor dining in Rehoboth Beach, how the city looks to make sure restaurants are following safety regulations, plus share your thoughts in our Coast TV poll. Nippy nights are nearing. I'll tell you when to bundle up and just how many layers you're going to need. This is Coast TV News at 11. Christmas tree farmers a little less jolly. Good evening, I'm Mallory Metzner. Welcome to our news at 11. We begin tonight with fewer Christmas trees available this year. Between national droughts and strange weather this past year, Christmas trees took a bit of a beating. Coast TV News reporter Charles Reinert shows us why not everything is merry and bright for the trees. Picking out a Christmas tree and decorating it is a holiday tradition. But there aren't as many options this season. Don Hallowell at Don's Tree Farm in Greenwood says it's been a rough off season. We see in extremely dry conditions, and then in one day back middle of July, we seen 12 inches of rain in a 12-hour period, uh, which really, really curtailed a lot of our trees. I'm going to say five to 800 trees lost. Hallowell says he has lost hundreds of seedlings due to those odd weather patterns. He says here in Delaware, the flat landscapes make it easier for flooding to occur. We're like a pool table. And a lot of trees you see on the market are from mountainous states like Pennsylvania and North Carolina. I did speak with the owner of Coastal Christmas Trees here in Milton, and he was not available for an interview tonight. However, he did tell me that while he didn't have any issues growing trees this past year, he said a lot of the trees that were brought in were either too small or not worth selling. Hallowell did say his farm is doing fine, but dealing with Mother Nature can make any farmer say, bah humbug. Another contributing factor to the falling amount of trees is simply a lack of farmers. I've been told by multiple Christmas tree farmers that as more and more Christmas tree farmers start to retire around the country, their family members aren't picking up the job, forcing them to close their doors. I'm Charles Reiner in Milton, Coast TV News. Picking out a local live Christmas tree is an engaging activity for the whole family. Despite the shortage, there are local Christmas tree farms in Delaware that you can support this season. According to the Delaware Department of Agriculture, you can visit local Christmas tree farms in the state that are listed on the Delaware Grown website. There is an interactive map to see which tree farm is closest to you and it has their contact information as well. New tonight, the Rehoboth Beach Hometown Christmas Parade was a smashing success. There were over 130 entries in the parade, ranging from our local marching bands to Coast TV's Petey the Peacock. Our very own Madeline Overturf was the MC. The night is organized by the Rehoboth Beach Volunteer Fire Company. This year, firefighters stuffed an ambulance with Toys for Tots. As always, the night finished with Santa and Mrs. Claus coming to the nation's summer capital to enjoy cookies and hot chocolate with kids at the firehouse. And now let's take a live look outside into Ocean City. It's getting colder out there tonight, so let's check in with our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams, joining us now with a look at our weather. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Mallory. And you know, hot chocolate appropriate, so appropriate for this evening. Take a look at where we are right now. Temperature wise in Milton, we're holding at 39 degrees currently. It's 43 in Rehoboth Beach, 45 in Indian River Inlet. It's 40 right now. Selbyville, 38 Ocean Pines, Del Mar, and it's 38 degrees right now in Seaford. Outside we go, courtesy of our R Royal Plus camera, and we're looking at the winds now shifting out of the northwest and the clearing skies. So now that the skies have cleared and the heavens are opening, it's allowing for the temperatures to fall and plummet rather rapidly into the low 40s. We'll bounce at about 40 degrees even by 3 o'clock, and then we'll go into the 30s going into tomorrow morning just before sunrise. Now, coming up, we're going to be talking about just how cold we're really going to get before the work week is done. But for right now, back to you, Mallory. Thank you, Paul. Now turning to the nation's aviation safety system, federal officials say they know that air traffic controllers are under immense strain, but it could take years to fully address the factors behind it. Laura Aguirre has more on a new report in which some controllers say a deadly crash is inevitable. 
when we look at air traffic control equipment. We're, we're using aging equipment, paper strips. Uh, we don't have ground radars at our, most of our facilities. But it's not just an aging infrastructure putting air travelers in potentially grave danger. A blistering New York Times report says controllers are being pushed to the brink. Using open records requests, the Times found reports of some controllers admitting to being drunk, smoking marijuana, or experiencing violence on the job, in some cases even sleeping during a shift. The National Air Traffic Controllers Association tells CNN controllers are overworked and understaffed. The shortage is a big problem. Uh, and if you look at how long it takes to get a certified air traffic controller uh, from the academy to certified in their facility could take two to three years. My initial uh, focus has been on how to make these numbers go up quickly without lowering standards. The National Airspace System Safety Review Team points out that the current federal hiring plan, when factoring in retirements and other attrition, brings on fewer than 200 new controllers by 2032. Some relief could come from the FAA's Collegiate Training Initiative, which fast-tracks getting controllers into control towers using select colleges and universities. Get new people into the facilities, get them certified. It's going to take, you know, two to three years, but we'll be caught up and we'll start to actually see uh, more than six controllers a year uh, increase. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. The FAA says that it has dealt with any employee problems like drinking, sleeping, or drug use on a case-by-case -case basis. The next steps for the proposed Beach House Motel in Lewis were taken tonight. The mayor and city council held a public hearing for the proposed site plans for the motel that would take over the former site of Two Dips Ice Cream on Savannah Road. The city says the plans are compliant with flood requirements and setbacks. The planning commission recommended approval with a number of conditions in October. That included additional parking. Tonight, the applicant said the motel will have 15 rooms instead of the previous 16 which aims to help the parking situation. At 22 parking spaces as well as bicycle parking, the city requirements make this motel overparked, meaning there are more than enough spaces. The applicant has plans to give a piece of the old building new life in the motel. Right now the goal is to use it for some trim, some furniture, some shelving, um, also some exposed beams and just pieces of like artwork that we can say, you know, mm -hmm. this came from a building that's been there since the 40s and 50s and 60s. <laughs> the city says it will accept comments for this project until noon Friday. Israeli airstrikes hit about 200 targets in Gaza. That's according to the Israel Defense Forces today, just a day after announcing that it was expanding its ground operations to the entire enclave following the collapse of a truce with Hamas. A U.N. agency says nearly 2 million people have now been displaced, which is over 80 percent of the population there. Israeli military officials say their objectives in northern Gaza are nearly completed. Back here along the coast, outdoor dining was such a success during the pandemic that many places, like Rehoboth Beach, chose to make it permanent. The city of Rehoboth Beach created a design manual for restaurants to follow, and tonight they followed up. Coast TV news reporter Elisa Weber shows us the most common problem the city sees with outdoor dining spaces and what's being done to fix it. Hope Snyder manages a restaurant on Rehoboth Avenue. Snyder says outdoor dining has increased business for her restaurant, especially when seating inside is difficult to come by with large summer crowds. It's really great for people who want to come out and dine with their dogs. We have options for them. Um, it just also all around gives us more seating so we can accommodate more people, more guests. Over a year ago, a design manual for outdoor dining in Rehoboth Beach was created for restaurants to follow. On Monday, the Rehoboth mayor and commissioners were given a follow-up report to see how well restaurants have followed set rules. Overall, the biggest problem the building and licensing department says it sees is restaurant barriers creeping too close to the end of the sidewalk, causing a concern for pedestrian safety. They believe stricter regulations will help prevent this. The city says it hopes to see more restaurants participate in outdoor dining. We found that it worked well uh, and hopefully, you know, going forward, uh, possibility of getting more out there uh, and, you know, uh, maybe regulating them, them a little bit better. With outdoor dining becoming more and more popular during the warmer months in Rehoboth Beach, the city says it wants to make sure everyone is safe, from pedestrians to people eating outside of those tables. 
The purpose of today's meeting was for the city to make sure that all regulations in place ensure that everyone is safe and making changes based on last summer is important for that to happen. In Rehoboth Beach, I'm Elisa Weber, Coast TV News. And that brings us to our Coast TV poll tonight. We want to know what change do you want to see in outdoor dining? Let's take a look at the updated results from earlier tonight. It looks like now 29% saying more spaces, 28% say no changes. These numbers have changed since we last checked, but it seems like all of the options are getting a fair amount of votes here. 20% for longer hours, 23% for fewer restrictions. If you haven't voted yet, you still can at coasttvnews.com or on our mobile app. We have a lot more ahead on Coast TV News at 11. Still searching for a cause. What we know about this fire in Talbot County that rendered a water treatment plant out of service. We warmed to 58 degrees in Salisbury, 61 in Ocean City. But listen, a chilly change is in the air. How will that affect your work week? I'll have a clear answer for you in moments. But first, the ongoing discussion in Rehoboth about allowing dogs on the beach during the summer. The implications for pet owners and visitors will be back in just 60 seconds. Life is a commitment, a beautiful journey that teaches us all that just when you think you've got it made, you've got another thing coming. To which we say, bring it on. You've got a heart that needs a hand. We've got hands committed to saving hundreds of hearts each year. You want your life back? We've got your back and your hips and your knees. You're facing a monster? We've got heroes. Life gets off to a rough start? We've got this and this and this. You have fear? We have hope. You're facing a storm? Hey, storm, is that all you got? Because we've got more. More ways to help. More ways to provide hope. More ways to prove our commitment to you. And that commitment, well, it runs deep. This is Coast TV News at 11. The Rehoboth Beach Board of Commissioners discussed the possibility of dogs being allowed on the beach during the summer season in the mornings. Currently in Rehoboth, dogs are not allowed to be on the beach or boardwalk from May 1st through September 30th. The Animals Issue Committee proposed this new rule after a survey that showed that more dog owners are requesting for the city to change its current rules. During this morning's meeting, there was debate over the proposal. The Beach and Boardwalk Committee, along with Mayor Stan Mills, talked about the overall negative effects it could have to the Rehoboth beaches. We have uh, irresponsible dog owners that don't clean up after their dog and stuff. And unfortunately, the, the responsible dog owners get penalized. And it's just, just what happens. The Board of Commissioners decided to withhold making a vote until further notice, saying they want to prioritize parking regulations first. That proposal is to extend parking season from May 1st to October 31st. Tonight, investigators are still working to determine what caused a house fire in Easton and where it started. The Maryland Office of the State Fire Marshal says this fire happened Friday just after 9.30 p.m. at the home you see here. A dog tragically died because of the fire. The estimated loss is $175,000. One of two municipal water treatment plants that treat and supply water to St. Michael's is not in service for the foreseeable future. This is due to a fire that started at the facility just before 1130 Sunday night. According to the fire marshal and St. Michael's Fire Department, the one-story brick building caught fire with smoke and flames coming through the roof. In the meantime, the department says to try to conserve water wherever possible. MDOT has released its November report on the amount of deadly crashes that occurred last month. According to the agency, 38 people died in Maryland as a result of car crashes. So far in 2023, MDOT says that there have been 554 deadly crashes, including 135 pedestrian and 15 bicycle. The department says that the data reflects a 7.6% increase compared to the same time in 2022. According to MDOT, Maryland is projected to record more than 600 deadly motor vehicle crashes this year, which is the first time that number has been seen since 2007. 
Well, we are actually dealing with a significant amount of cool air that's in place for us right now, and we're clearing out throughout the mid-Atlantic region. A low pressure system is making its way towards us. Now, for the next 12 hours, we're looking for it to stay very clear for us, with the winds pushing primarily out of the northwest, with temperatures settling into the 30s pretty quickly, and we'll wake up to about 34 degrees, probably feeling a little bit cooler than that. All right, so let's take a look outside right now. We're at 47 degrees in Ocean City, the winds out of the north. This is courtesy of our dry tech camera, and we're going to start are falling into the 40s, but remember, we're going to end up in those 30s. Now, with our live radar rendition, we keep a close eye on what's happening along uh, the Chesapeake Bay area because that's where we actually have a active small craft advisory in effect for the area, about 20 to 25 mile per hour gusts. That's really going to affect the folks that are crossing the bridge there. It's a little gusty for you there. Uh, but other than that, we're staying pretty much untouched because the low pressure system to our southwest, well, it's just a little bit too far away to affect us just yet but we are being affected by the cold air spilling in from the north 37 degrees right now in seaford it's 39 in del mar 40 in selbyville 38 currently at this hour in milton now where have we changed from let's say you know 24 hours ago we're about five to ten degrees cooler but look at where we're going to start off tomorrow morning we start off at 35 for example in milton 34 in milford georgetown 35 in millsboro inland of course we're cooler as we go into the afternoon, in comes the cover of day, not night, but the cover of day with thick cloud cover. And that's going to shield us away from the warming effect of the sun. Wednesday, we start off cloudy, but look at these winds coming directly out of the north. That means it's tapping into that cooler air coming out of southern Canada that's kind of filtered its way throughout the northeast and towards us. Still going to have a lot of bite to it by the time it reaches us. Wednesday afternoon, we're in the 40s. This is tricky, though. See this 42? It's going to feel more like 32 because of the winds coming out of the north and the winds are going to become a little active as well. Now for let's see around two o'clock in the morning for Thursday, we'll cool back down. So this is perfect bonfire weather. Now we will have about a little piddly and I want to call it piddly because I'm not taking it that seriously. I'm just letting you know because technically I have to uh, 20 percent chance of rain for Tuesday, but I'm not putting much salt into that. But the winds out of the north northwest at four to 11 miles per hour. I am putting a lot of seasoning on those other two. Here's what it's going to feel like Wednesday morning, 31 degrees inland to 30. Thursday morning, Thursday morning, it's going to feel like 24 degrees just about everywhere inland and then along the coast about 26 degrees. So it's going to be cold for everybody for Thursday. Now, I said not much of an opportunity for rain. Our models, our latest model run has taken that chance of rain right out of the forecast for us for Wednesday. So we're not even going to be overly concerned about it. We're looking chilly Wednesday night going to Thursday, first day of Hanukkah. 45, but then on the weekend, we're getting warmer, but we will have wet weather on Sunday. Thank you, Paul. Santa Claus is coming to a lot of local towns. Where his sleigh will land next, that's ahead on Coast TV News at 11. And coming up next, Ferry Fairs, how you can weigh in on potential increases and decreases this week in Lewis. You never met us, but you knew we might need some help during the holidays. And for you, that was enough. You gifted us a Food Line Feeds holiday box so we could have just a few moments together to enjoy a home-cooked meal. And when we can, we promise to pay it forward. Me, it was us. But for today, we'll give you our thanks. With Food Line Feeds holiday boxes, together we're filling tables and hearts with hope. Pulling up to a great-looking home is nice. Curb appeal is important. But here on the coast, even more important is dock appeal. At TNG Builders, if you can dream it, we can create it. For uncompromising quality, contact TNG Builders to design and build your coastal dream home. Over 30 years of integrity, empathy, and love. TNG Builders, the sign of quality. Visit us online at tg-builders.com. Join a global team of dreamers, doers, and inventors at one of the largest biotech manufacturing companies in the world right here in Millsboro, Delaware. At Merck, we use the power of leading-edge science to save and improve lives. Whether you have a diploma, degree, or in between, positions are available from entry level through management, competitive pay, health insurance, tuition reimbursement, 401k, pension plan, and annual bonuses. Join Merck and be a part of a bigger story. Apply online today. Sam Caligioni here, inviting you to visit Dogfish this off-season. Enjoy daily specials at our locations like 
12 wings for only $10 on Sundays and wood fire nights every Tuesday and Thursday in Rehoboth at Brewings and Eats. Or check out $15 lobsters on Lobster Sundays next door at Chesapeake and Maine. At Milton's Craft Brewery, visit us weekly for Monday trivia, Tuesday craft cocktail night, and more. Come explore goodness at our dogfish locations this off season. Cheers. This Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., the Delaware River and Bay Authority will host a virtual public hearing to discuss the goals and objectives of proposed fare changes and modifications at the Cape May Lewis Ferry for 2024. According to the ferry, among the changes to be considered are increases due to inflationary pressures and decreases to encourage family and multi-trip travel. This proposal will be shared and questions will be answered. One of the next events spreading Christmas cheer is right here in Milton. The Milton Fire Department is putting on the parade in downtown Milton this Wednesday. It starts at 7 p.m. It begins at the corner of Union Street and Atlantic Avenue, passes through downtown, and then ends at Milton Elementary. Have you seen all of the holiday lights and decorations that are put up all over Delmarva? Just take a look at your screen. We have another one to share. Melissa sent us a holiday house taking a picture of her sister-in-law's decorations in Delmar. This house is beautifully decorated. You can see red and yellow Christmas lights there outside. Very festive. The whole home is very merry and bright. Thank you for sharing. We would love to see how more of you decorate your houses for the holiday season. Send us your pictures and your videos to coasttvnews.com slash holiday house. And the holiday season is here, so that means our Bless Our Children campaign is in full swing. Already we have collected more than $111,000 to help provide Christmas for children who otherwise might go without. But as we all know, this year is creating hardship for many more people and the need for help will be even larger. You can donate at blessourchildren.org. Here's a look at some of the people who have already helped. We've received another beautiful Christmas card. This one is from Judy and John Ortega of Lincoln, Delaware. Thank you so much for your card and your donation to our Bless Our Children campaign. We're going to make sure that we get presents for all of the children on Delmarva to open on Christmas this year. If you would like to donate, just go to blessourchildren.org. That'll tell you how you can send us a card that we might even read on TV. Flu season brings the constant caroling of sneezing, sniffling, and whining children. 30% of people infected with influenza do not know it, making it easy to infect others, especially young children. Your best shot? A flu vaccination for yourself and those you love. Your Doxin offers flu shots seven days a week, no appointment needed. Flu shots for veterans are always free. Get your flu shot today. Your Doxin, in partnership with Tidal Health. From the time that I established Garlic Builders, I instilled certain core values into my company, like I learned in the military. The number one approach that I instill in my team is a client-first mentality. The relationship with the client goes far beyond the construction process. Years down the road, I want to be able to grab a cup of coffee or grab dinner and reconnect. For so many, this has been a dream of theirs to own a beach house, and it brings great joy to us to be able to be that bridge be able to make their dream finally come true. We're a family of builders, Growlic Builders, homes built with honor. When you step into a luxury bathroom from Coastal Bay Construction, it becomes your sanctuary. Relaxing, refreshing, invigorating. Coastal Bay Construction is your local bath remodeling expert and can help you transform your space into something you'll love. Get the luxury bathroom you want with easy access and services that make cleaning a breeze. Call Coastal Bay for your free quote with two years free financing or $1,200 off your whole bath. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's Coastal Bay Construction. Welcome to Sea Level Design. Come visit us for an extraordinary selection of nautical gifts and decor for your home. Choose from thousands of coastal home accessories, including pillows, accent furniture, lamps, indoor-outdoor rugs, wall decor, and so much more. Whether you live by the beach or just dream of ocean breezes, we have something for everyone in every price range. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook to keep up with our constantly changing inventory. Sea Level Designs, open year-round in Bethany Beach. We know every dollar counts, especially if you have kids. So at Tillman Orthodontics, their checkup is free. Free digital x-rays. Not even a copay. Age seven is the ideal time to get an orthodontic checkup. They grow so fast and you have to make sure everything is okay. 
It's never too late, but earlier is better. You're not making this job any easier. There's no reason to wait. It's free. I keep growing, you know? Call Tillman Orthodontics today. We'll see you this week. Don't want to put off any longer. The gag order in former President Donald Trump's civil trial will remain in place. That's despite efforts by his attorneys to appeal the case to New York State Supreme Court. It's likely the gag order will remain until at least December 11th. That's the date the former president is expected to return to the witness stand in his defense. During the busiest shopping season, a security guard at one of the big department stores has been stabbed to death. Police say the security guards initially confronted a man for attempting to steal several hats at a Macy's in Philadelphia this morning. Investigators say he left and came back with a knife. Police say a 30-year-old security guard died of his wounds and a 23-year-old is in stable condition. The suspect ran from the store and got away on a subway train. Officers arrested him a short time later. You always hear about a dog being man's best friends, but what about our feline friends? One woman and her cat participated in a nationwide study on the bond between humans and cats. Eleanor Bland shares the results. Cats are sometimes seen as standoffish and mean, but a study done by the Pet Partners and Cat Person organizations wanted to fight the stereotype. We have so much research comparison uh, in dogs and other animals, but we don't have much about cats. There was discussion about a cat's size. You know, they can fit in someone's lap. They can be a little bit more snuggly. We wanted to understand the relationships that people have with their cats. We asked people to describe their attachment with their cats, to talk about how their cats impact their everyday life. And then we dove into understanding therapy cats in particular. The study focused mostly on how therapy cats benefit humans nationwide. One of the 80 participants in the study was Kathy Hostler from Black River Falls who is a lover of all of her many animals. Over here we've got some goldfish, we've got an axolotl here, here we've got a dragon, the bunny lives down here, and over here we've got some dagoos. But she has a soft spot for her trained therapy cat, Snickers. We do just have a bond. We um, go to hospitals and nursing homes, um, we do individual hospice care. He just knows how to give comfort. I've seen him, um, uh, somebody getting his blood pressure taken and uh, um, let him pet the cat for a little while and then get it taken again. And uh, yeah, it went down. Hostler participated in this study to spread awareness to the need of therapy cats in her area, as Snickers is the only therapy cat in Black River Falls. A lot of people are cat people, um, but they only get to see dogs in hospital or, or nursing home settings. It's mostly just opening that door and raising that awareness that they do exist and uh, that they can be really excellent workers. The results of the study reflect positively on the use of therapy cats. We found that therapy cats are making a huge difference in the places that they visit. They're positively impacting people's mental health, um, social connection. People engage with other humans more when therapy cats are around. Researchers of the study say that there is a need for therapy cats. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. What's going on, everybody? After a tough loss a night ago, the Eagles pick up a much-needed piece. Now, we are not saying that this will be the savior for Philadelphia's season, but it does help a struggling linebacker core. Former free agent Shaquille Leonard made his decision on what team to join earlier today. The former Indianapolis Colts middle linebacker has agreed to a one-year deal to join the Philadelphia Eagles. The specific financial terms of Leonard's deal with the Eagles was not immediately disclosed. The four-time All-Pro joins an Eagles defense that has been hit by injuries at his position. The most notable injuries include second-year linebacker Nicobe Dean and linebacker Zach Cunningham to a hamstring injury in Week 13. The former Defensive Rookie of the Year is also familiar with Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni as he was the offensive coordinator for the Colts from 2018 to 2020 when Leonard first entered the league. Switching to local basketball action, the Delmarva Christian girls basketball team remains undefeated after a 62-16 win over Worcester Prep. Mia Elliott and Laney Dukes both had 10 points for the Delmarva Royals and Delmarva Christian will look to keep their undefeated record as they take on Gunston School on Wednesday at home. The Mallards will have their first home game of the season and look to get back in the win column against Chincoteague. Full highlights of this game will be on DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com. And a clean sweep for the Royals. The boys team got a 67-42 win 
over the Mallards. Auto for Sports. Have a great night, everybody. Let's check back in on our Coast TV poll. What change do you want to see in outdoor dining regulations in Rehoboth Beach? Let's take a look at the updated results from earlier in the broadcast. These have changed just a little bit here. It looks like the winner is still more spaces. That's up to 31% right now. No changes, staying in second place at 27%. 22% want fewer restrictions, and just 20% say they want to see longer hours of outdoor dining. If you haven't voted yet, you still can at coasttvnews.com or on our mobile app. Fine arts and fine crafts, where you can find an artistic gift while exploring holiday exhibits this weekend. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 11. Delmarva's Holiday House is brought to you by Bay to Beach Builders. Toyota Thon is on. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid, RAV4, Tundra, and more. Uh, how did you... Magic. Buy a front-wheel drive Highlander with financing as low as 3.49%. Or check out an adventure-ready RAV4 and get 1,000 finance cash from Toyota. Come in today. Toyota. Let's go places. Some people will stop at nothing to get your stuff. Get solid security and protect yourself from theft, fire, and accidents with American-made Rhino at Southern States in Milford. Experience peace of mind with financing available when you buy local from the only Rhino dealer on Delmarva. They'll deliver and set it up for you, too. Ask about Rhino's Thank You For Your Service rebate program. Protect your stuff with Rhino. Everything else is just storage. Securing Delmarva, one safe at a time. Southern States of Milford. Not everyone wants a big funeral. For those seeking a simple alternative, the Eastern Shore's most trusted family and funeral service offers another option. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Service is simple and affordable. A direct cremation tribute starts at just $15.95 or choose to have a small visitation service serving Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia with easy consultation by phone and streamlined electronic documentation. Learn more at easternshorecremation.com. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Services. Simply respectful. At JD Asphalt, your driveway is our reputation. So we bring an experienced crew and state-of-the-art equipment out to every job site to ensure we deliver fast, premium results that's built to last. JD Asphalt, built on family values. That have and will last as long as our asphalt. Paving a path to your satisfaction. Call now and ask about our 0% financing options available for up to 18 months. JD Asphalt, a family company for over 50 years. We're Coast Coast and we're Del Marva Proud. Tomorrow at 4 on Coast Life, get ready for a festive home transformation with our Christmas decorating insights. Also, empowering get home safely self defense tips and inspiring mom moments to cherish. Coast Life tomorrow at 4 on Coast TV. Holiday Open House for the Rehoboth Art League is this Saturday. The 14th annual event offers fine art and fine crafts. Art League members will have holiday gift items on display and for sale. The Camp Rehoboth Chorus Ensemble and other live performers will provide music for the event throughout the day. The Open House runs from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. there at the Rehoboth Art League. Take a look at our winner for tonight. It's Allison Dramas of Lewis. Congratulations. Courtesy of Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling, you're our new umbrella giveaway winner. Here's to where the current temperatures are right now. We're at 37 in Seaford right now. It's 39. Feels like that in Selbyville and in Del Mar. It feels like 38 in Milton. It feels like 37 degrees for us in Milford uh, and Milton. We're looking at it staying very cool for us. Very clear at this present time so that's going to allow for the temperature to drop even faster here's a look at your exclusive coast tv 10-day forecast tuesday 48 for the high then we drop down to 31 wednesday 45 then we drop to 28 that's probably the coldest day then we stay at 45 then we go up going into the weekend till we run into a little rain action on sunday Thank you, Paul, and thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News at 11. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon is up next. We'll see you tomorrow for Coast TV News at 5 a.m. Have a great night.